been hanging in a tree stand. Ain't had a guitar in my hand. I ain't got no more rhymes other than that, but let's do some picking. <laughs> double bender but it ain't hooked up the bend so we just gonna do some picking <laughs> since I made a video and uh, 
I've got a couple songs that I need to do. One for Brother Rodney that I'm looking forward to doing. But the fact of the matter is, I just ain't been doing too much picking. I've been playing on the acoustic guitar for about 10 minutes a day. But when it's hunting season, well, my gosh, I'm in the woods enjoying God's great outdoors. It's been a beautiful October. Now as we're going into November, of course, the woods start changing. If you were a deer hunter, then you understand what I'm talking about. You know, I've been a bow hunter only, exclusively, since 1991. And I don't do food plots and I don't pay for hunts. I literally take that bow and arrow and I go in the woods and try to figure out where to go in those woods. All for the attainment of the most delicious, beneficial protein that God has put on earth for man to enjoy. And I'll tell you, I sincerely do, I do. And the next deer that I take will be number 100. Number 100, that's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, things given its life for me to benefit. And I don't take that for granted. But if you're a hunter, then you understand it. If you're not a hunter, well, then these words will fall on deaf ears. But for those that have enjoyed hunting and the receiving of the blessings that God has given to us from the attainment of that cycle, I'm thankful. I don't take it for granted. It's a sad moment for me. Um, it's not a, a celebration to uh, take the life of these beautiful creatures. But in the perspective of what I understand as a hunter and for doing it for a very long time, I am truly thankful. And I have my quiet moment once I'm over that animal and I thank the good Lord for that opportunity and what this animal has meant and what it will mean to me. Matter of fact, tonight I'm gonna to enjoy some of that delicious deer meat. I do love it, I really do. But I've had several people ask me how it's going. So October has been good. It's been 18 hunts and uh, five deer total so far. And uh, it's been very warm. So things are just a little different than they normally are. But as a bow hunter, the world is a small world. I don't want to be 25 yards or in. Not much on shooting past that, although do I, I do and I have and effectiveness on my bow and my comfortableness would be 40 yards unobstructed, uh, but on an unaware animal, you know, you don't want to shoot things that are aware of being hunted. So with that said, narrowing, narrowing the woods down, millions of trees, and for an animal to come by the one that you're in, Nothing like it. Nothing like playing this guitar, too. So I haven't had it in my hand for a while, so I just wanted to share some stuff with you. That was a little Ojo Clark. I'm not sure what the other stuff was. Just me having a little Jerry Reed. I sure love Mr. Reed. That percussiveness that he had under his hand. Of course, he did it with fingers, a thumb pick and stuff like that. Matter of fact, here's one right here, and he did it much something more like this. For me, I'm not very astute with the... Uh, Thumb pick. I can do things slow, but not not quickly. But with this pick in my hand, I'm a lot more comfortable. So I can really get that good percussive bite. One of my favorite little Jerry Reed endings as it goes a little something like this. I'll play a little passage and then we'll call it good. Didn't mean to ramble on so long, but thank you for those that have asked. All is well. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's doing well. And I hope that you all are too. God bless you all.
Thank <laughs> you.